Today's video is going to be very chill because we are doing a sniff with me for the Commodity Exploration Kit. If you're interested in hearing my thoughts on all of these fragrances, then just keep watching. Before we get into the video, I do want to quickly introduce myself for those of you who may be new here. My name is Aisha. I make videos about fragrance, beauty, luxury, and lifestyle. If those are things you're interested in, please consider subscribing. And if you are a returning subscriber, hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So like I said, we are doing a sniff with me. I've never done one of these videos before. If you've been following my channel for a while, then you know I don't really purchase samples. I know samples are a good idea, but I love the rush of a blind buy. But Samples are definitely a better choice if you don't want to waste your money. Now, I do make YouTube videos, and so I, ha I have content from things that I blind buy, but for you all, definitely, unless you just get the rush from the blind buy like I do, then samples are definitely the smarter choice. But anyway, I got this kit from Commodity. They did send it to me, so thanks so much to the team over at Commodity. I'm not required to talk about it. They just sent it to me to try out. So this exploration kit includes six of their fragrances in three different scent spaces. So Commodity has this new concept out called a scent space in which they have different levels of the same fragrance. So the middle level would be the expressive scent space, which means that's the basic fragrance. So that's how the fragrance smells. It's for people that like moderate projection, moderate intensity. And then they have the personal scent space where it's more of a personal scent, lesser intensity. And they also have the bold scent space, which obviously is more intensity, more projection. <laughs> so I know that sounds confusing, once you, but once we get into it, it should make more sense. So it comes with this little booklet and this kit is available for you to purchase if you're interested. I will link it down below if it's currently available, um, but this is not just a PR kit. So it comes with this booklet. Let's see what's in here. It just talks to you about how to sample each fragrance and, and then it goes into each one of the fragrances and talks about what it's supposed to smell like. So I guess we'll use this for reference because I find with samples, Sometimes it's hard to get a true picture of the fragrance. It does give you an idea on whether or not you probably like the fragrance. But for me, I don't get a full true picture of a sample. Like I just need to use it more. I'm just one of those people that I need to spray it all over my body, full sprays to be able to truly experience any fragrance. So let me show you what the case looks like. Comes with these test strips here. And then these are the bold fragrances, the expressive and the personal. So I guess the way we're gonna do this is just to smell all of the fragrances and then just briefly talk about them. Now, keep in mind, all of these are first impressions. So this is not a review. This is mainly for me to be able to experience the scents and then hopefully purchase one or two in the future. Hopefully my lighting didn't change too much. I had to go get my Uber Eats from the door. So <laughs> sorry if it did. But anyway, let's go ahead and start. We're starting with book, which is the first one in the book. So the basic concept of the book scents are a trilogy of nostalgic, crisp woody scents centered around cedar wood and sandalwood so this will be a woody scent let's see what it smells like so i'm going to start with the expressive since that's the middle one okay this smells really good i can definitely smell the sandalwood it's quite woody kind of pencil shaving like but there's also something very fresh about this as well like in addition to the sandalwood kind of smells like there's a tea note to it. I'm not sure of all the notes right off hand. I'm just kind of glancing over the book, but it does. That's what it smells like to me, like a woody sandalwood. <laughs> that seems stupid to say, but y'all get what I'm saying, like a pencil shaving type sandalwood, because I feel like sandalwood can either be creamy or very woody. This one is very woody, fresh, and it has like a tea type note to it. Very good. All right, uh, next up, we're going to smell the personal version of that. So I'm gonna try to spray the same card. Okay, so this one is definitely much less intense. The woodiness is not really there. I'm still getting that same tea-like scent, but it's definitely calmed down. Let's see. Oh yeah, it says this one has black tea and skin musk, so that makes complete sense. So that's how this one is different from the expressive one. 
It smells really good. And then let's try the bold one. So this one, to me, the sandalwood is still there, but it's definitely less fresh than in the expressive version. So to me, the sandalwood is almost toned down and now you're getting notes that are just smoother, deeper. Yeah, it's like a deeper sandalwood scent. Let's see what it says about this one. So in this one, they have added musk and smoke. Makes sense. All right, so out of those three, I think I like the bold the, be the best. Um, now, I think that one smells really good, but would it be something I purchase? I don't know, I would kind of have to play with it. But as of right now, I like book, but I don't think it's a love for me. All right, next up, we're going to do gold, which is one that I've had my eye on. And I'm gonna start with the expressive version again. This one says it's supposed to be a trilogy of warm, glowing scents, spotlighting vanilla, sandalwood, and amber. So it definitely sounds like something I like. Ooh, that's really good. So I can definitely smell the vanilla here and the amber, but in a way it's kind of light. I like that. This is very smooth and airy, but you can still smell the vanilla and, and amber. I do think I smell the sandalwood as well, but it's more of a creamy sandalwood. I really, really like this one, y'all. I like this one a lot. This is gold. This is the expressive one. So let's try the personal one. I really like the expressive, so I don't know how I'm gonna feel about this personal one, but. <laughs> Okay, so the personal one is very personal. I'm just gonna say that. Of course, I'm not wearing it on my skin, but it just smells like a lighter, much, much lighter version of the expressive. Now on this one, it says there's supposed to be an addition of ISO E Super. So I'm assuming that's why it just smells like airy, way more airy, much more light. Yeah, I'm not really a fan of that one. I feel like it's too light, uh, but maybe I'm just not that, um, Maybe my nose just isn't that sensitive to ISO E Super because sometimes those types of scents, the molecules can be hard to smell for certain people. So this is the bold version. Oh, that smells good. <laughs> okay, I really like this. So this one smells like the expressive. So I still get that vanilla, that amber, a little bit of sandalwood. But then it's like they added something like leather or maybe saffron. I feel like saffron to me a lot of times smells leathery. Yeah, that's what it smells like to me. Um, let's see. So they added nutmeg, saffron, and patchouli. <laughs> so yeah, this is definitely deeper. I do really like this one, but I actually like the expressive one more. I think this one would be better suited for a man because as, it, as this kind of sits here, I feel like the leathery scent is coming out a little bit too much for me. But again, I don't know how it's going to wear on my skin, but right as of right now, I like the expressive version better in gold. So next up we have Velvet, which seems to be a popular one from this line. And it says this one is a trilogy that reveals the true indulgence of roasted almonds, rose petals, and amber. Well, we know I love my almonds, but I don't know about these rose petals. So let's see. This is the expressive one of velvet. Mm, that actually smells really good. I do smell the rose, but I also smell that almond. This is interesting, I like this. It's like a sweet jammy rose and I have, I smell the almond coming in that gives it a, a different type of sweetness besides just floral sweetness. Mm. And then I feel like you can smell the amber in the background. So I feel like this is a really nice scent for year round use, but Probably be better suited for fall winter just based off this. It smells delicious. Not, I shouldn't say delicious. It doesn't smell, smell edible, but it smells really, really good. I like that. Ooh. Oh, this could be a problem for me because I am really liking these scents. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna try the personal one. Okay, again, I feel like I can't really smell the personal. It's very personal. Very, very light version of velvet. I'm not really a fan. I feel like it's just missing a lot. Um, but it says it is, it has skin musk and vanilla flower in addition to the expressive scent. So I guess the musk is just taking over in this scent. Yeah, I'm not really, a, not really a fan of that one. 
it just smells like not enough for me so let's try the bold okay bold smells really good it's definitely smoky it's a little sweet the rose is definitely dialed down dialed down in this one but I smell the almond still okay so out of these I like expressive the best hands down I really really like it um, I didn't really tell y'all about bold but for bold they added saffron patchouli and smoke yeah I definitely can smell that saffron in there as well too so yeah I like the bold but to me the expressive was the best so next we're doing moss and this one says it's a trilogy of fresh green scents that highlight bergamot, oak moss, and pedigree. Doesn't really sound like my vibe, but let's see if I like it. <laughs> Actually smells good, but not like something I want to wear. It is, again, this is the expressive one. I'm going in the same order, so. It smell. I can definitely smell the neroli and there's a bitterness to it. It's very green. Yeah, don't, definitely gives me mossy vibes. I'm not, I'm not a fan. I wouldn't wear this one, but I do like to smell it. But to me, it kind of smells too grassy. I don't think I would like to wear it, but I like the smell of it. Hopefully that makes sense. So that was the expressive. Let's try the personal. I feel like I'm not gonna like any of these because I didn't like the expressive, but we'll see. Okay, so the personal actually smells better. It's a little brighter, so you still have that greenness there, but there's something bright and citrusy to this one. Let's see, they added ISO E Super and Skin Must to it, but it makes it smell like a lot brighter, a like, lot more citrusy. I really like this one a lot more. You can still smell that neroli and you still smell the grassiness, but to me, this is just better. Still not really something I feel like I would need, but I would definitely wear this one. And then let's try the bold. Okay, bold, I like, but again, I would not wear. It smells like the expressive, so that greenness is really there. The neroli bitterness is really there. But then there's something else in it. Like, I feel like this kind of smells like weed. <laughs> like, when people are smoking weed, I definitely wouldn't wear this. Let's see what they added. So they added juniper berry, amber, and patchouli. So I'm not really sure where I'm getting that marijuana smell from, but... That's what it smells like to me, just smelling it off the paper. So I won't, don't really like any of those. I mean, they're okay to smell, but I wouldn't wear any of those from the Moss line. So next up is paper, and these are supposed to spell like a trilogy of true molecular skin scents thanks to sandalwood and ISO E Super. So I expect these to be pretty light, but let's see. Now I do feel like with these types of scents, you really have to wear them on your skin if they have ISO E Super. Um, but I can't possibly just spray my skin with all of these. So, oh yeah, that smells pretty good. It reminds me of Juliet has a gun. Um, I think the Nada perfume one. So it's very light, very airy, but I can smell kind of that woody sandalwood scent. But again, it's very, very light. I think this would be an easy wear, but I don't feel like this is one I would need. So that was Paper the Expressive. Let's try the personal. To me, it just smells like paper, like like <laughs> actual paper. Yeah, I don't I don't get anything from this. So that would be a definite no for me. And then let's try the bold. I'm having a hard time smelling the bold as well. So maybe it's just me. Maybe my nose is just not sensitive to this type of scent because this one is supposed to have added vetiver to it. And I really don't smell it. Yeah, I can't smell anything on that. So those will be a pass for me. But if you like the molecular type scent, I think the, I think the expressive one is nice. But again, I would completely pass on those as well. So last up, we have the one that I was most excited about, and this is milk. So milk, the milk scents are supposed to be a trilogy of caressing woody scents filled with skin musk, tonka bean, and mahogany wood. So we're trying the expressive first. That smells really good. Definitely milky sweetness. 
Smells some sort, smells kind of like some sort of pastry. I really like this. It is pretty light though, but I really, really like this. I think this will go, because it's light, I think you could wear this in the summertime too, even though it's a creamy lactonic scent. I really like that. Okay, so milk right now is a winner. Uh, let's try personal. <clears throat> Okay, so personal smells very, very similar to the expressive milk, but I feel like they added some florals or something. Let's see. No, they added cashmere woods and skin musk to it. But to me, it smells like milk, but some very, very light florals added to it. I'm assuming that's from the musk. Yeah. I like the expressive better, but I do like the personal as well, but it's very light, so. All right, let's go for the last one. And this is Milk the Bold version. Okay, the bold smells very similar to the expressive, but it smells a little bit more, a little deeper. So the expressive is just like milky sweet. The bold smells milky sweet and maybe some woodiness to it. But again, it's not super loud or anything like that. I think they smell pretty similar. Hmm, I don't know which one I like the best. Yeah, I don't know which one I like the best. They're so, so similar. I guess I would give it to the Expressive just because I feel like it smells very, very similar to the Bold, but I think I like the Expressive just slightly better. It is sweeter, whereas the Bold is slightly woodier. Yeah, it says on the bowl they added amber and firewood, of course. So that makes sense. All right, so those were all the samples that they sent me. Thanks again to Commodity. I do want to end this video out by telling you guys which ones were standouts to me. So my favorites were gold, velvet, and milk. And out of those three, I preferred the expressive in every single one of those. So... <laughs> Um, yeah, I, I like the other versions of all three of these, but to me, the expressive was just the best in all three of those categories. So that was gold, velvet, and milk that I liked the most. Let's see which one, if I can pick out of those three. Mm. Yeah, I can't rank them. <laughs> I would have to wear them to be able to rank them, but right now I really like all three of those. So gold, velvet, and milk. If you guys have tried any fragrances from Commodity, let us know what you think of them down below. I am going to try to wear these samples a little bit, probably to bed or something where I don't need to spray a lot. Because like I said, whenever you get samples, I feel like I can't really spray my entire body with them just because the sprayer is typically so small on samples. So I'll probably wear these to bed to kind of, to continue testing them out and see if I end up picking up one of these or all three of these. <laughs> I'm technically on a fragrance no buy right now uh, for this entire month. So if I do pick up one, it won't be for a while, but I do really like all three of these. Yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what's your favorite from the brand. Leave it in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Also, make sure you subscribe and follow me over on Instagram. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.